In this video, we're going to go through some of the new features and functionality in Blue Sky Plan version 4.5. We're not going to explain them in detail, rather give an overview of some of the new features that are included in this release. Before we do that, I'd just like to mention Lab Pronto. We have the order button in the top left of the software. Orders can also be placed via labpronto.com. If you don't have time, or you're not interested in planning your own cases, or creating your own surgical guide, or aligners, or dentures, you can order with a click. You could think of it as the Uber for dental lab work. When you place the order, the order gets sent out to a network of top tier labs waiting to do your order and return it to you. So there's expedited priority turnaround with every order. Service is great, products are great, and prices are very reasonable. So you can place your lab work with a click, get it done, and get it back to you really quickly. The first addition to the software that we have is the grid that we see on the screen. We see that some of the lines have a 1 millimeter separation and others have 10 millimeter separations. That can be changed in the default settings. In options, you could toggle the grid on and off by the grid visibility box on the right side of the screen. It's great to use when aligning models. It's great to use in the denture module when you're placing teeth. So that's a new feature and functionality that's been added. We've added the ability to create the hollow model, and that could be done in the model manipulation panel by selecting the correct model and clicking hollow model. This creates a new surface that is now hollow, resulting in a faster printing time with less material. In the ortho module, models are now exported hollow again saving printing time and printing material. The option exists in options if you want to print out the model with the base grid as we see in the surgical guide module that could be done in ortho as well. Speaking of ortho you can now notice a new option to engrave text in addition to the previous option of just embossing text you can now engrave text into the exported models. Continuing our discussion in the ortho module, we've added into this release the ability to design an indirect bonding tray. So you can see on the bottom you have the option to add brackets and choose the option to design an indirect bonding tray. The first time you use this functionality, you'll be prompted to complete a short form, which you could go ahead and do the first time, and then you'll be done with that. Adding brackets is super simple, as the software automatically puts this curve here by default. You could rotate it as needed. But just adding the brackets is add all brackets. You could unselect teeth if you like, but you just click the add button and the brackets are added. You could then continue. You could then continue to design your IBT the same way you'd uh, design a surgical guide for those of you who are familiar. And then you could go ahead and export the models with the brackets if you like, and of course with the IBT. Take a look at our updated wizard with a new automatic STL to CT merge. That's a completely automatic merge. You don't need to click on any teeth, any times, don't need to mark any spots. Select the STL model, select the relevant jaw type, and the software does a fully automatic merge of the STL model to the CT of the patient. And that's integrated into our normal mode and advanced mode as well, just by clicking the jaw type and clicking the line. We have added articulation pins to the software, so when you have the perfect setup on screen, you have the perfect setup when they're printed as well. In model manipulation panel, select the models and click the add button. Use the widgets to modify the placement and the thickness as desired. Click create articulation pins, and of course, those could be exported attached to the models to recreate the articulation after printing. We have added a solution for the cases where the software guide tube interferes with the model, with the patient's anatomy, or it's too wide for the adjacent teeth. Of course, you could double click on the exclamation mark and see the guide tube violation, but to solve it, you could just choose raise guide tube or make guide tube narrower to solve the relevant problem. The software updates the information on the drilling reports for the particular guided surgical kit and implant system being used. There's no longer a need to recalculate the offset and update the drilling report manually. 
We've added the ability to import a full 3D color face scan, scanned using the latest iPhone technology, or a Belus 3D scanner, or other type of 3D scanner. Simply mark two points on the model, two points on the patient's face that correspond, hit the nose, and press next. Draw a curve to cut out the mouth and remove it from the 3D scan and think about how this could interact with the denture module in terms of showing the patient their future restored teeth. We have simplified the denture fabrication process so after you position the models with the teeth it's a very straightforward and simplified process. Determine your undercuts. Step two is to define the denture base and we could see the improved gingiva contour created automatically by the software it allows us to further edit the gingiva using the tools. And step four is finalizing, selecting a reduction coping, and exporting. And that's it. And lastly, there's now a full bridge from the CareStream software to Blue Sky Plan. So if you've acquired data through a CareStream CT, you can now push the data. And if you placed any implants, you could push the implants directly from the CareStream software to Blue Sky Plan with the click. Speaking about clicks, don't forget LabPronto. LabPronto.com. Get it done with a click.